Good morning, traders. Welcome to our daily webinar. Um, very good news. The click rates have increased. Uh, the unique viewers have increased. And we are, let me just show the group very fast. Uh, we are 3.7. The last time I asked you that uh, I will give you two weeks free if you help share and increase that to four, above 4,000. We're about there. We were 2.4 at that moment, right? So thank you very much and keep doing it. We don't have to stop at four. We can go more. I will do two weeks free. I, I think we will get to four by the end of this week. So I will do the two weeks free for you guys. But keep sharing it because it, you're not only sharing it for me. You're sharing it for somebody who, is, who has not seen my videos at all. And there are about 9 million traders out there who have never seen my videos. Right? If there are 9 million, five, 500,000, I think there's only about 200,000 that might have seen my video, 300,000 that might have seen my video. So there are 9 million people we haven't got to who have never seen it. So they, they don't have a choice. They don't know this exists. It is up to us to make them know it exists and then they will make a choice if they would like to see it or not, right? If they would like what we are doing or not, sorry, I moved the whole thing, let me bring it back. And just move out the YouTube one. Good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank you. So please, this is recorded. Sorry for the long detail and the long introduction. Uh, if you're watching this video for the very first time, uh, you see my name, Anil Mangal, and the method I use is called wave analysis, but it's not just wave analysis, it's the wave analysis with pattern recognition, right? I'm adding that new part to my whole thing because we will have to differentiate from a lot of wave analysis people who are out there. I'm not criticizing anybody. I'm just telling you my method is unique and it's different. The way we do it is different. It's not it's not Elliott Wave. It, it, it arrives from Elliott Wave. That's what I studied and this is what we've changed it to. It's not the wave analysis you're getting out there from anyone else, including some people who have left my group and go, because even if you stay in my group, you would have known for the past three months, we've updated this very much in terms of the way we look at patterns. Because the most important thing is recognizing the patterns. If you recognize them correctly and you get it correctly, you get the impulses. Right. So that's what I do. If you don't know what I do and you would like to know more, watch my YouTube videos, watch them to the end and share them. Because at the end of most videos, you get some interesting thoughts. So watch them to the end and please share. Thank you very much. Let's go. I would increase the, the, the free webinars for another two weeks in February. So congratulations. Uh, let's go. Dollar index. I'll start with the dollar index as we always do. Dollar index is still going sideways. So yesterday, let me just go through this. I'll go step by step. Yesterday, we were saying if this consolidate here, we will sell it. Because we were anticipating a downside in the dollar index. Uh, for anyone who's watching this uh, the first time, watch a few days back. I did a long-term uh, video on, on, the, uh, on the daily charts. Watch that. That is quite interesting. We're still expecting. Nothing has changed. Let me just explain this. This is the only one I'm going to do in detail. In detail. Structurally and pattern-wise, nothing has changed. So you would say, but you said yesterday it's going to fall. And it went up. That did not change anything. Not in the pattern, not in the structure. Only breaking this top would first change the pattern. And sometimes the structure. Not necessarily the structure, but sometimes the structure. Unless that top is broken or not. We're still in a correction. All you're getting is a bigger version of the pattern we're looking at. So if we're looking at a simple flat, you have a more complex flat. That's about it. That, that's the only thing that changed. Now, I'm not interested in the upside here. We're interested in the upside on the yen, not on this one. And structurally, the two of them are different. That is why we're interested in the up in the yen, the up in the Swiss, but not the up in the dollar index. Although the dollar index might have been the driving force or will be the driving force for that to happen. We don't have an upside here. So what we're looking at is that this could still come back here. Now, the higher it goes into the impulse, and like I said, I'm going to teach you something now. The higher the probabilities, if we come back here, we're going to continue to go. We'll continue to go up and we will make a much more complex pattern it could still come back and break that low, right? By coming here and going back up does not mean we're gonna to totally go up. Now, why do I say come there and go back up? Because I wanted to break this low. Don't ask me why here, I'm not gonna explain that here. Very often they come back and break the low. Can it go from here? Well, in rare cases, yes. Also not gonna explain that, but my traders would know what are the two possibilities of it going there, contracting flat or a possible running flat, right? So let's go. 
we're going to watch this. And if we get a sell set up here today, it would be we'll be looking for sells in some other pairs or buys in some other pairs. So let's start with the silver. Silver came down, expected, nothing much. We said it's not going to go very far. As a matter of fact, yesterday with my traders, not on the silver and the gold, we did it. I think we did it in the silver. We were, I was telling them exactly how far I think this one was going to go. And it went exactly to that distance. It came back. We're looking for a buy. Now, I want you to see the bigger pattern. Let's go here. When you see something like this, technical traders will not wave traders, call it head and shoulder patterns. What they're looking at is an impulse, a correction, and an impulse. An impulse, a correction, they're expecting another impulse here. Now, the next impulse here would either break this stop or it will stop short of breaking this stop and go down. Right? One out of those two. That depends on what the bigger pattern will be. And we don't know what the bigger pattern will be as yet. We're still in correction. This whole thing is still in a correction phase. And patterns in a correction could get more complex than the simple ones you're looking at. So, but but for today, we're looking for a buy setup. We're looking for a buy setup yesterday. We uh, Sorry, a short-term sell setup yesterday. If you took it, you close the trade. You're looking for a buy setup. Can this crawl and crawl down here and break the low and still go back up? Yes. Is there a sell setup here? No. Even if this drops like that, we don't have a sell setup. We had a sell setup yesterday. We don't have a sell setup today. If we get a sell setup, it doesn't mean we can't get it. I'm saying we don't have it. If they consolidate here longer, we will get a sell setup but we don't have one right now. And I don't think we're gonna get one because if you go to the lower degrees or the lower time frame, structurally, this looks up. So we will be looking for the buy setup because the higher probability trade with the fastest risk to reward, which means a very sharp impulse up, is the upside, not the downside. And it could go downside, but we will ignore it and we will not be in the trade. And for us, it doesn't matter. It's not about being right and wrong. It's about what do, you, what pattern you see, what pattern you forecast, and how you will trade that pattern. If that pattern doesn't play out, well, you got it wrong. That's about. But you're not in the trade. The idea is not about being right and wrong. The idea is, do you have an edge in the market? Can you see a pattern that will give you an edge? And if it doesn't work out well, you're wrong about that pattern at this particular time. You will relook at it, see where you went wrong, what is the new pattern, and reassess it as to where the trade is going to be again. That's it. It's that simple. It's not about being right and wrong all the time. It's about can you find your edge in the market using this method? And it is the best method to find the edge. It's the only forecasting method you have in the, in the market there. So let's go. Gold, same thing. We expect this to come down. And I think we also uh, measure the size of this gold moment. We did it only in this piece, which was this one, this one, and this one, those three. And I said it could or could not break this low, but most likely it's going to break it. And we were going to look for this up. So when we get this up, the problem is this sharp wave here. We could see this come back here and then go, right? That sharp wave is either all the correction or it's not. I don't think it's all the correction. You could, you could actually make an argument that it is, right? And this is a slow move down. So if this come back here, if this comes lower and come back here, then we will continue to go down. But if it goes up from here, we will come to this area and we might go back down and go up or we could break out. That is because of this piece, right? We can't, there's a reason why we can't qualify that piece is all the correction as yet. But as you can see, when they're going so slow, the likelihood is they're gonna go up. You, you can see a lot of trade, we go back and show you all of that, right? But today, as of today, we're looking for upside. We don't have any sell set up on the one over. You look at it, there isn't, there isn't the one hour sell set up. We could get a sell set up. I'm not sure this was a perfect sell setup because that was in line with what we were looking at. Some of my traders asked me in the trading room and say, yep, you can take it. But this one is not a perfect sell setup. This looks like you can go back to this level, which, which makes it a perfect, well, not a perfect, but a good buy setup. Euro, Euro also, sorry. Euro also came down a little. I didn't expect Euro to come down. We were expecting it to consolidate in here and probably go, but it dropped came back to the low, and now we're getting another flag here, which I think is coming back up here. So when it comes back to the low, what are you expecting? What do we expect Euro to do now? Take this out. It's pretty simple. When they come back to the low here, we want this to go back up here, come back to this top, and then we're selling. Can we buy this to the top there? Sure. 
So we're looking for a buy, but the buy now becomes a short-term buy because if the consolidations happen in this zone here, if the consolidations happens within this area here, then we're looking for an impulse to go that way. See, pretty simple. So now we will see what it does. All it's doing is giving us new information. Yesterday, we were expecting this to see if this breaks out, we will buy. It didn't break out, we didn't buy. It came down back, we're looking for a buy again. At least back to this top. Let me put a line here so you can see. At least back to that top, maybe break the top and then the downside. So if we get a buy set up here to the end of one hour, we will go for it. If this drops, I don't see a sell. This could be a short-term sell, but all this will do is come here and go back up. So we're not looking for a sell in this piece here. Pong? Like I said, we wouldn't be buying the pump, right? We wouldn't be buying the pump. We would be selling the pump. And the pump might have been the clue as to what we should be doing, right? Look for the sell setups, not the buy. Well, we don't really have a sell setup here as yet. But if we get one here, we can go with this sell setup, right? The ideal sell setup would be the break of this low, break of the low and then consolidate. That's the ideal and the perfect one. This one is an ifish one, but because of the entire big picture, if I have to sell something with a risk in it, which is anything selling above that is a risk. Oh, we're still in the uptrend line, right? Selling in there is a risk. It could still make a new high. We could still get a new high and then a new high and then a new high and then it drops, right? So if we get a sell set up here and we get a sell set up in the year, we get a sell set up, I will take the pong sell set up, right? I will not take it in any other pair, not on the Aussie, not on the Euro, not on the New Zealand, but on the Pong, because the Pong has the highest probability of falling really, really hard. Now, for those who are seeing this the first time, let me show you why that is so. That is so because of this move here. We expect this to come back to about this level and then go. And it could go like this. So if I'm going to sell anything, I'm going to be selling this one. Let's go back to the one hour and look for that sell setup. Aussie, like I said yesterday, we're going up, watch it when it comes back to this area. We actually, we had it like this. Let me be, put it, we had it like this. So I said, every time they come to the low, we buy. They come to the low, this one didn't break. It would have to give us a flag here to buy. It didn't give a flag and it dropped lower. No problem, you're still consolidating. All you're making now is a much more complex pattern. And if you want to know how complex these patterns could get, go back to Punkcat and study it. So this one could, it, as of now, this is still a sideways move for upside. Let me show you a number of them so you wouldn't freak out. Here is another one for upside. We weren't saying that this was going down. We were saying this here is consolidating for upside. This was a consolidation for upside. The only piece this got us a little bit is that it's a contracting flat. Everybody remember we discussed this in details. And I said, if they break the low, it's perfect. If they don't break the low, we can still trade it, but it's not perfect. And it didn't go up as aggressive as you would like it to go. So, you know, you would have got a lot of break even trades. This could go up really fast. Is there a chance that this could be the start of a fall? Could happen, but that is very rare where this first impulse is so short that the consolidation here is a bigger one and it's contracting flat and this would fall. So how would you differentiate whether it's going to fall or it's going to go up? If you're new to wave analysis, pay attention to this piece very, very carefully. This is an important clue for you. If this, after breaking that look, consolidates here, we're selling. We've got a clue that we're going back now for a much deeper correction. There are other reasons why we think a deeper correction is coming. But when you see this pattern, it's an upside. Unless breaks the low and consolidate, it changes the structure for you, right? You've got something very important there to learn. So let's see if we get this. If we, most likely, I think it's going to give us a buy. I don't see a sell setup in it. I don't see them consolidating here as yet. So the consolidation will take a while. It might have to be a four hour consolidation. I'm not selling a one hour flag at the bottom of this impulse. It's useless. A one hour flag in that impulse will give you 10 pips and then reversed. So only if we get a four hour consolidation, we'll sell it. Otherwise, any buy setup from this point, any buy setup, we don't have any, but any buy setup within the day would be a buy in our trading room. And sometimes even under 15 minutes, if we get a buy setup, that would be a buy in the trading room. Let's go. New Zealand. New Zealand didn't break out. New Zealand was perfect to go. This was almost a perfect flag until it dropped. It's not a flag until it doesn't break out. 
So this would be where you would see, if you go into 15 minutes, where you would see what I was explaining to you on the daily just now and the app thing, where this is the small impulse, this is the correction, and then they drop. Normally they would drop here and go back up. That's a 90, sorry. That's a 90% time that they will do. 90% of the time it will make a flag here. It will come back to this level and go up. Once in a while, they don't, they drop because this becomes the correction for the downside. What are we doing? We're making a bigger flat. That is all. We're still making a flat. We have a one, two, three. We have a one, two, three. We can come here and make a two. If we get a three, you're going to get something like this, and that will be upside. So it, we, if it consolidates here, we're going to sell. But it will be a short-term sell. I showed you one of that just now on the, I think, on the Aussie. Very similar structure, right? This one doesn't have that type of structure, but I showed you one in the Aussie just now where they did exactly that, right? So what we're going to look for here today is if they consolidate, we sell. And you're most likely looking for a bigger consolidation, not a small one. You're looking for a consolidation, the equivalent of this or this, right? If we get something like that, this one, or if we get something like this, then you go for the sell. Otherwise, it could still go back up. So... Well, most likely it is going to go down because we're breaking out of this structure. We're coming down. Any correction here would be a sell setup. Swiss, we're still in the correction. This is amazing because this didn't, it's not breaking downwards. It's not breaking out of the structure. That is good. So we didn't take this buy. We consider it a lot, but we didn't take it because it was looking more like a sell rather than a buy. Tag the low and then go back up. But it didn't go anywhere because if you had taken that trade, you would have closed it exactly where you took it. Because we wouldn't close it here. We would anticipate the breakout. And on the way down back, you'll put it to break in and you'll be taken out on the trade. That's the reality of how it goes when you're in the consolidation. What do we have right now? When it's an impulse, they don't do this. So the assumption is that this is going to become a more complex and a much more complex corrective structure. Because this piece seems to be the biggest of the corrections of all corrections we have here. If this comes back here, we're likely going to stay here for a while and then go. So now that we know that, it's tradable. If we get a sell set up today, we can trade it. Can this go up a little more? I think in the short term, this looks like it can crawl a little more up. But eventually, this should break down. And if we get this trade here today, we'll take it. Because it doesn't look like they're making an impulse to the upside. That's not how the impulse starts. So we might likely get this thing within this sideways move. I actually want them to stay there for it. And the longer, the better, because then it gives us a better chance of, it gives us more confidence in getting the impulse to the upside and a much longer impulse to the upside. I can go back and show you a hundred of those, but not much. Here's a good example, right? Here's a good example. You add that impulse and then you get a long drawn out consolidation. You have this impulse, you're getting a long drawn out consolidation here. This trade is going to be amazing. Compared to this, this one here is going to be amazing to the upside. So just keep focus on it and let it do what it has to do. Every now and then you will take a trade and you might get a break even. I think we took a number of break evens in there. Maybe even a small loss you're going to get once in a while when you're trying to be more aggressive. But once you get the impulse and it goes at 5 to 1, 6 to 1, 7 to 1, and you just keep adding to that. Yen. Told you it's going to break out. Didn't break out the way we expect. Again, this, this piece was a little mess for us because I really thought this piece here, when it starts to do this, was going to tag the low, then go. So we missed this piece. I'm in this trade here now, but it's a break even, especially with this piece. So I think we might, might get a break even. If I get a break even, I'll re-enter the trade at the top there, right? So this part, I missed it because I wasn't in front of my chart, but I don't know if any of my traders took it. We'll have to check with them for that, right? Probably not. So... We're still in the consolidation zone. That doesn't that doesn't mean it's going to break out now, right? Especially with this big flat in the middle here. There is a good chance we will come back down to this level. And then go. There's a very good chance for that. So the reason I'm putting this trade to break even is because exactly for that reason, right? So I put I didn't put it when this was coming in, when this stop and go back up, I put it because now it has to either go back up. Now this has to either go back up or drop. And if it drops, I don't want to be in the trade. But if they go back up, I'm still in the trade. So what you're going to do 
if you're not in the trades, you can look for an entry or the This is a very small flag. We can look for an entry or if they take off, try to get it to break even when it moves very far away. And that's it. Yen, long-term upside. We're still in the downtrend. We're still in this corrective downtrend. We haven't broken out. And if you haven't broken out, the chances of you coming back here or even coming back to this low still exist. It is. It still exists. I hope they don't. I hope they break out. We want this thing to break out for a very long time. And let's hope it break out. We're going to be in that trade. There's a lot. The trade to the upside is huge. This is nothing here. This is just trying to scrape your way into the entry. Right? It's trying to, we're trying to get into the best entry as possible. So let's see if they consolidate here. I don't want them to consolidate long because if they consolidate long, that would not make sense unless it becomes a much bigger consolidation like this. And then this would be a perfect buy. So let's see which one it is. On the small flag, if they take off, not a bad buy, but you have to be able to manage it. That's what I would do if I wasn't in. Or if, or if they take me out for break even, I'll put my insured above that top immediately, right? That is how I would trade it. And then we would manage the trade in our trading room to see how that goes. We took a buy in this and some of us got break even. Some of us got a small loss, depending on who closed it when, when our first buy went here, right? Some of us closed it here. Some of us closed it, got taken out here. Some of us closed it here. Right? It's a very small loss because the stop was here. Compared to, you know, this, compared to the risk you were taking is small. And we will all, I will do that again. I'll repeat that many times. And right? I'll repeat the same thing over and over because well, you don't want to miss that big move when it starts to go. You have to find the entry. If you don't find the entry, then you're going to miss it. I don't think we, this wasn't the perfect entry. This would have been a perfect entry if we didn't have these two pull back here. If this one has gone out like that and then make a flag here, this would have been the perfect entry. Well, you don't get it perfect. That's the thing. It's not perfect, but it's good. That was a small running flat. I, we missed it. I think I missed it. I was mostly focused on them coming back to the low because of this. Because of this, I thought we would drop to the low here and then go. And that would have been a perfect thing to do, but it didn't happen. So we're still in a trade. Don't worry. There's still a lot. There's a couple thousand pips to go. Cat. If you took the buy, you're doing well. If you took the buy, you should have closed it when this starts to pull back. I think that was before FOMC. We had FOMC mints. You you don't want to keep the trade in there. But there's still a buy set up. This will probably come back and give you a buy. If it comes back here, make a small running flat. It will still be a buy setup. If not, wait for a flag and then buy. It will make a flag. It always does. It's breaking out. Once it breaks out of this structure, it tends to consolidate before it goes. At some point, it starts that consolidation. That is the place where you actually want to get in the trade because that gives you confidence that the next move up is a huge one and it will continue to trend to the upside. That will confirm the trend. If you don't get that, then it could stop at any point and come back here. If you don't get that consolidation, this impulse could stop and come right back down to the bottom. So you actually want that impulse to confirm it. All these ways. We break down the low, but it's not changing structurally as yet. I don't see any structure, it's just a deeper pullback in this. This would look, take an example of this one here for me, right? I would say this would come back to this level and then go because we look for a running flat. But then it went a little lower and that's okay. Right? Same thing, it's coming a little lower. We can't sell until we get a consolidation here. That is a sell set of, It could go back right back to the top and then we'll buy. So which of those two? We'll see today. One of those two will happen and then we will trade, right? Yen, same thing. I think yen is upside. All right, we're looking for the Aussie yen. This will probably break the low here. Well, this one, I think we were expecting to break the low. There's a reason I put this. Uh, we wanted it yesterday. We wanted it to go back up first and break the top. I wanted it to come and break this top. This was here. Go up, break the top. Make a flat here. Come down back, give us a one, two, three, something like this. It doesn't have to be a one, two, three, but it could be a one, two, three. Come back, give us a one, two, three here, and then up. So if we consolidate here, we're going to anticipate the move down and then up. Right? If it doesn't consolidate, break the low, but start to go back up, we're buying. Right? Could it be downside? Well, that's too early to tell. That's way too early to tell. Aussie Cat, consolidation. This one did exactly what we wanted it to do. Once we saw this, it's gonna stop here, come down back. It's gonna break this low. Maybe not, not in one move. You see this one has like more like something like, so it's probably gonna consolidate here, drop, consolidate, drop, consolidate, and then take off. This would be the trade to the upside. <coughs> Sorry, let's go. 
Aussie, New Zealand, it's consolidating. We could sell. We wanted the consolidation before we can sell. What's this? Here is that. Yeah, we wanted the consolidation here before we sell. We're getting consolidation. We'll look for a sell setup. It's a short term trade, but it might, we don't know how far it's going to go before it comes back. Maybe break this load and go back up. So it will be a sell setup. Euro Oz went up a little more, but we're still within the structure. So the Euro Oz on the one hour. Yesterday we were here, we were we were looking at this piece to see whether this would consolidate and drop. That would have been a sell setup. It went up back. And the question is when it comes up back like this, we saw this. Would you take a trade here? Because if you look at the pattern, they would stop somewhere here and they could come back down. It still looks like a sell setup. So what would change this structure from a down one to start an uptrend? Let's say it's a slow start of an uptrend, an impulse, pull back, an impulse, pull back, an impulse, either drop or break out, make a consolidation here and confirm the start of a bigger move up. If it drops now anywhere from here to here, you can have an entry here, but anywhere between there, we have a flag will sell, right? So if we get a sell set up, we'll sell. If we don't, will let this consolidate prove not just break out of the, that structure as it is, but consolidate above it. And then you get a buy set. Then you can confirm that there is more impulse to the upside. And that might mean you're actually going to make a much deeper correction than the one we have, right? So right now we're looking on a small correction like this and downside, right? You can see what I'm talking about, right? These corrections, this correction. If it starts to drop, we're selling. If they can move out of that zone and consolidate here, that confirms moving back higher. Well, then we'll get into the buy and we'll get into the buy for a much longer term. Euro New Zealand. It didn't go anywhere. It's put it in the one hour. Right. This did break, but if you took the trade, you got break even. This one did break. That was the sell we were looking at. It did break, but if you took the trade, you got break even, and I think you had enough time to get break even. I don't even think we took it, but if you took it, you got out for break even, or you got out for a very small loss. You should close the trade here once that happened. It's going up. Let's see where we are. We'll probably get into some kind of a bigger running flat forming. I don't think it's going up as yet. We can't confirm upside. I think we could confirm a small running flat here. It's possible this comes here and then start to drop. So if that happens, we'll look at that as a possible running flat that we that might form, and then we look for sell setups. If this is going to be a buy, again, wait for the consolidation. Eurocad, Eurocad went up, but we took a small loss in the trading room. I think we got too aggressive. So and it's an unfortunate trade. So I'll tell you, our some of my traders are already in the trade for the buy, and this morning we said put that entry there for the buy again. So. We had this and we decide to take this one and it just tags and drop immediately close the trade out there. That's okay, but it's still upside. So you would either buy here or this morning you can buy here. If you buy any of those, the stop still has to be here for now. All right? The stop still has to be there because there is no this could be a running flat. Let me just see if I can show that. This here would either continue to go like that or it could drop back to this level and then go. That possibly takes, and that is why we're keeping the stop here, right? It's just a lot size change. So it's still upside, and that means there'll be more buy in it. We're expecting a big move like this and even a bigger move than that. Let me show you the whole structure on the daily. Let me show you what we are expecting so you can see that that, you know, you still take the trade because it's coming here, and the chances are it will go above that. Break this stop, and then we might look for the downside. So. There is a more trades to get in there. I think you can get about five, six more trades on the one hour. And if you manage to keep the first one or the second one, not take now back for break even would be amazing. So there are much trades more to come here. Euro Swiss, this broke to the downside. I told you we're not selling it because I expect it to go back up with this, this, and this. We're expecting this to go back up here. Right now, there isn't a buy setup here, but if it gives us a buy setup somewhere here or somewhere here, we'll take the trade to the upside. Euro yen, leave it. It's still consolidating. It looks more upside right now. This piece looks upside, at least for one more impulse, at least for one more impulse like that. And then we would look at this, this, and this. We'd look for this and then up. 
Now, I just draw this pattern, and I think if you don't know, we have an answer. So all my traders look at that and said, yes, I see what he's saying. Right? Every single one of my traders, immediately, without even a single thought behind him, I knew exactly what I meant. But if you're watching me for the first time, and I, I would ask my traders to probably go back a little, which is hard to do because it's hard to unseen thing that once you've seen it, right? But just imagine you were the first time seeing this webinar and you see this guy said, okay, it's going to go there and then come here and then go. You're like, is that voodoo? Like, why the hell do you think it's going to ever do that? I mean, honestly, you, you, that, and that's a reasonable question. If I'm looking at this video for the first time and somebody's drawing this thing in the chart and said, okay, we're looking at this and it's probably going to come here and come here and then go there. You're like, yeah, really? You're some magician or something? No, it's not magic and it's not voodoo. It's a pattern that is known to us. What I just draw there is a very, very popular pattern that all of us know. We have seen it so many times in the chart previously, and we know that there is a chance it could make that pattern. There are many reasons we're looking at, more things we are looking at in sight to say why that pattern is so. Why we think this pattern is likely, to, not necessarily is going to make that pattern, but with what the information we have in the chart right now, that is the most likely pattern to form. Now, it might not form that pattern. When we get new information today or tomorrow, that could change. We could get into the buy here today, and this thing takes off like a rocket. And we will come back and relook at it and see, okay, what pattern was there that we missed? Or what pattern we overlooked? Or what pattern could it be there? But most likely, 90% of the time, you will get something like this before it goes. And that's the reason you would see me draw things and you might not understand. That's why I say, go watch all my charts and then join us if you want to learn how to do this. When you see how they work out and they work out perfectly in the charts, we draw like the Swiss. Watch the Swiss from the start of the week, I from the start of last week to now. And when you see how we look at it and how it behaves that when you would like to learn how to do that, join us, right? You will know how to join us. Just check the subscription, how to contact me on Skype and Facebook and you will join us. Better to do it on Skype. Right? So we're looking for a buy setup here, and then we will see where this goes. Right? Let's see what is the pattern inside here in the lower time frame, and then we will take the trade and we'll see where that goes. Europa. Let's see. It might be a buy setup, but it's starting to look like it's going to be a running flat. Right? This might be a buy setup here, but it's starting to look like it's going to be a running flat for downside. It could still go up. We're still expecting a big move to the upside, so we might still take this trade just in case this is a contracting flat or there is another flat we're not looking at. Looking backwards. Pong Oz, this one was a surprise because when they do this, most times you see them do this. And this one actually went up. So not a buy I would go in, never, right? Now we are at this level. And that means if this is the pattern we're looking at, some point this will have to come back down. If this pattern is not the pattern we're looking at, let's say this was a small pattern of its own. This is where they end the structure because this one is, they're both at the bottom there. And this one is the start of an up move that is so slow. Then you need the consolidation here to confirm that. Never am I gonna buy at the top there without that consolidation. So when I get the consolidation, I'll buy. If not, I'll be looking for a reversal from that point. I think a reversal is more likely and a more complex pattern will develop. I don't think we're coming back to test this top as yet. We discussed that in our trading room, whether this is a possible expanding triangular pattern with a one, two, three, four, five, something like that. It doesn't look so. Or for this piece and then go five to that. It doesn't really look so. But if it is going to be that, then like I said, you will wait for a consolidation here to confirm the next impulse up. Maybe even a bigger one to confirm a bigger impulse up. So there isn't anything like that. And every time we see this, we will miss that trade. We're looking at two of this and the Pong right now. If the Pong takes off like a rocket, we will miss the trade because I'm not going to be buying in that. It's just simple, I'm not going to be buying in that because most of these the time you see this, go back and test 100 of them, 80 something percent of them will fall. Pang New Zealand, this one also went up higher. So we were anticipating here that this is going to be a one, two, three. It is still possible a one, two, three. So we are actually doing something like this here now. This could still be an expanding flat. 
we will still come back. But when they go so high, it's, you probably don't come back. You might, uh, it's rare we're going to come back all the way here. We might just come back to about here and continue doing this for a while. So right now, we're still sideways. This structurally has not changed, right? We're still going sideways. If you look at it, up, down, up. This piece didn't drop, and that means we're not in the trade. The upside is not something that it's not a really interested buy. Even if you're trying to buy it, you didn't, not going anywhere. What we can look for today is if this is an expanding flat, take this out. If this is an expanding flat here, wrong one. If this is an expanding flat, we might get a sell setup here today. So I will be looking for that sell setup. If that happens, that would be an amazing trade. Now, I don't think they will go very far. They might just come to about this level. This would be a bigger correction and then we can go back up. Can they drop all the way here? Well, yes, maybe, but I don't think so. It's rare, it's rare that they're going to get to that level and then go back up. We'll see. Pong Swiss, still crawling up. And we want, this is the one we want to go break the top. And it's not going, right? So we want this to go break the top and then we would look for the sell setup. It's crawling up still. This is the one that should have done that, right? And then come down back. Well, it's not doing that as yet. And we don't have any buy setups on it. It's, you can go for a buy, but again, it's very risky. You see, they don't go anywhere. They don't go anywhere. And this one will probably do this and, you know, do that and then come down. So it's not the most interesting trade. Pang Yen, we're waiting for the sell. Uh, we saw the possibility of this going up yesterday. You have a flat here. We still need this. So today, if we get this here, we will take this sell. And the chances are they will still go back up one more so when we get this sell we'll see how far that goes moving your stop and then maybe we can get back in the buy if we think it's going to be a sharp one to the upside All right so it depends let's see how this ends the structure but the sell we will always take the buy maybe but the sell will always take punk ad okay this one went up and it went a little higher than i was expecting so now we will assume that this is the correction for the whole bigger pattern and this was an internal correction for this piece going up because we haven't broken the low. And that means we will go test the top here. It was a buy setup yesterday if you wanted to buy it. So we will watch the break of this top. There is still a trade to get there. If we get a flag, there's a trade to get there. When it breaks, you see that this is very similar to the previous small one we had. One, two, three. When it breaks this top, I'm expecting them to come back down. Right, so we will see what happens when it breaks the top. But from that point, I'm expecting it to come back down. Four hour, one hour. We can buy again. It was a buy if you wanted to, to break the tops, uh, at least to break this top and then, you know, it's going slowly. Let's see if we get a good pullback, something that makes sense like this. And then we can take this trade up to the top to break the top. New Zealand in didn't break out just like the new zealand it didn't break out it made an attempt but it didn't break out so this trade is off that didn't trigger it it's coming down back so i think i think if this didn't happen we were anticipating that this is going to come back so i told you this might just go there and then come back right remember that was what we think because we were looking at this and we were looking at this and this one was telling us that even if this breakout is going to come here short term and then go back down to this level to make a bigger flat right so now this didn't break, it just dropped. So we'd assume that there's a big flat at the top there with this very small impulse and a big flat. And now you're dropping, we can sell. You would, you would want the consolidation. You want something like this and hope you don't have two of them, right? So if we get a consolidation here, this would give us the trade to break the low, right? And then the upside starts. That is gonna give you this bigger pattern. So this could be a sell setup. We just have to wait for that consolidation. Once we get it, it confirms the downside and confirms the bigger pattern we're looking for than the upside. Pretty much like you had here, except this one was a smaller version of it. I think we have a bigger version somewhere. Maybe this one would be the size of what we're looking for. Something like that. Coming back here and then going up or becoming more complex. But I think from there we can go up. So let it come. We can get a sell set up here today. Let's see in the one or if we have. We don't have anything right now, but it could become a sell very quick. This has to just consolidate back in this level, and then we could use this as a sell setup. 
Let's see if we get that. New Zealand, Swiss. This one also didn't break out of the top. They started to go, they stop, and then they come down back. So we're gonna put this here. I think we're looking for a bigger flat as well. Take that out. This doesn't look well. I don't like the sharpness of this one. So let's stay out of this for a while. If it pulls back and give us a correction, then we'll sell it. But for now, it could be a running flat. I'm thinking running flat here. Expanding, sorry, for one more up. All right, I'm thinking expanding flat there because I, I don't like this sharpness of that. So no cell setup here as yet. I mean, no one hour cell. Uh, New Zealand CAD. Okay, it stopped at some point. It will it stopped? It's coming down. So maybe we're just going to make a deeper consolidation. Let's see what this pattern could be. This might just be a small consolidation. I don't see the big thing here. We might just consolidate in here and go back up. Let's see. Go to the one hour. It doesn't have anything that we, what we should sell as yet. So if, unless they give us a big one here, then we'll sell. The one hour, I would not sell. It sells something else, not this one. Again, okay, we're coming down, but we're not breaking out as yet. And we don't have a sell setup. As a matter of fact, you're getting something that is looking like a flag for upside. You're getting something here that looks like a flat. That looks like a flat for one more up. But let's see. It could also be that this was a sharp move ended. They're, they're making a lot of pullback in there. So if that is the end of it, wait for them to break, make flags, and then we start to sell. It either breaks today, make flag, and then we start to sell this. This is a good sell. It's a big sell. We're expecting it to go down very deep. Let's see if it goes. The pattern we're looking for, let me just show traders who are seeing this for the first time. What we're looking at is these structures. You've got a sharp move, you've got a correction. You've got a sharp move, you've got a one, two, three correction. You've got a sharp move, and I think we're making a one, two, three correction, right? So the anticipation is if when it starts to break, we will get a sharp move like this. See, it's very simple. It's not that difficult. Now, if it happens and we get the trade from the top, good for us, right? If it doesn't happen, then what we're going to do is we're not buying in this pieces yet. Let it break out. I let it break out of the structure, come back here, break out of the structure and start to make corrections here. Now you can know you're going back to test these stops. And otherwise so that this is showing you that the likelihood is going to drop. I mean, you, you, you have enough experience of all of these in Syria. So let's see if we get the drop. We don't have it as yet. There's nothing there to sell, nothing, you know, no setup. If we get a setup, we'll take this out. Cat Swiss. You could have sold this one. I told you about that, and this one actually worked. So if you sold this, congratulations. The sell should have been here. I don't know if any one of my traders took it. I'll have to check. We missed this yesterday. This is one we should have taken in the trading room. Because this downside could be fast. The upside was very slow. I think one of my traders trade this, and I told him, okay, if you can trade that, trade the downside, because the downside is much faster. He traded it up, and he stayed with it until it break the top, which is a lot of patience. Right, so I told him, okay, we'll sell this because the downside is much, much, much faster. Look at what the downside could do. See that? Look at the downside. The upside is the corrective part. So we're in the corrective structure. This is the impulse going down. It's going down now. Let it drop again. Make another flag and you can sell. I right, remember the downside moves really fast. Swissian, still in the consolidation. Let's see if we break out and then we will take the trade. We don't have anything. It's still in consolidation. Okay, this should this broke a little early. I don't, if we get a flag here, we can sell. I was expecting this to go back there and then break. That's just a regular flag. Now it could be a contracting flag. If it's a contracting flag, wait for this to give you a flag. Because if you don't get a flag, then we could get a running flag. And what do I mean? I mean, this could go back up here and still drop and you'll get this, right? So you don't want it to be selling at the, the bottom of a running flat. Let it break, let it consolidate. If we get a one hour consolidation there, we can, I think we're getting a one hour consolidation. Yeah, this would confirm. Let this go back up again, let it go back up and break this top and we'll get this straight to the downside. All right, so this is a good one. I like it. Let's put it for a sell. Oil, nothing. 
it's still there. Actually, this did break. If you saw that, you got out. Now we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think we can go with this here as a flat. And we got a sharp move up like this one. So guess what? You can look for a cell set up here like this, All right? Look for a cell set up. We're looking for this trade down. And then we will look for that trade up. And then we'll probably look for this trade down. Those are the likely patterns that could, but you're getting a cell set up here because I think that pattern is completed itself. So if they make, if they come back here, this is going up like that, make a flat here and it's going to drop, you can sell. It's not a bias yet. I don't think you want to get into the buy there. Same, the same thing here. Yep, you can see it. We broke. I'm looking for a bigger one in this piece. I don't know why it's so short. I was expecting this to break and come like this. It could still come. This might still be part of the correction, this whole piece here. So we can still put the correction like this and like this. If this gives you a flag like this or like this. So if we get a flag, something like that, then we can look for the one more down. It's just one more down. You're still in a big consolidation. Let's see, we'll see how that behaves. We don't have a buy setup. If this is gonna go up, you don't have a buy setup as yet, right? It will have to at least come back, sorry, cancel. It will, it will at, le at least come back this piece here. Now I lost the drawing too. Give me one second. These things happen. Let me see if I can find it now. I will have to go look for it. Give me another second that is. Okay. I think we got it now. Okay. Yep. So what you would want, you would at least want this to come back to this level and then go up. So we can look at this as a flat, right? Come back here and then go up. Right? So there is a small trade down to this level. Now, unless it's a rare contracting flat, then this would go up from here. But most likely you have a small trade down before you go back up, right? So the pattern we would look for is come here, go back up there, come here, and then go. This would be the complete pattern we would be looking for. Let's see if it plays out like that. If it plays out like that, you have a number of small trades before the big trade comes. What you can do is if you want to skip the sell, take all the buys. Skip the sell, take all the buys because one of the buys is going to take off. Natural gas, if you're in the buy, you can put another entry. You could have put another entry here. Just You might have to stay with some of these or take break even, take the profit out every time. At some point, it will take off very fast. Okay, this one, you, we told you it's gonna come down back, but not like this. I thought this would come down like that, make a running flat here, and then go, right? That was the thought process at that time. But it actually came down here. Could it be an expanding flat and go, right? Could this still be an expanding flat and still go? Possible. So if you get a buy set up in here for the upside, you can buy. But if they stay there and they consolidate, then we would look for the sell setup if that consolidates there. Could it be a longer term? One, two, three, one. Let me see. One, two, three. You get this flat, then one, two, three. If it could be this one as well. I think one of my trader was looking for this from the cell from that, right? Look into this one. That is possible. So that might give you a buy setup. See that one there? This one, we never had this one. We had the smaller ones in here, but we never had this one. So this could be an upside. Look for a buy setup there. If you get a buy setup there, that, that would be a good trade. It will, you really have to have a big correction here, not a flag before you sell. So it's more of a buy setup. 
we started this drop much lower than expected. The question is, is it going to go back up or did they end the structure at this one? Is this the smaller flat? You can look at this as the smaller flat. This is the end of the structure and we're going down, right? That is one option. The second option is you're just making a bigger expanding flat and then go up. So let's see which one. For the cell setup, what are, what are the chances are this is totally going down, right? Let's, what are the chances this thing is totally going down? You've got to wait for this to correct here and then look for the cell. That would confirm that the structure to the upside is ended and we're going down. S&P 500, same thing, except that this one, you were anticipating that this could break. I right? see there's a reason I have that line here. That's an anticipation that this could be the stop and it could break. So this is the only one we're looking for a possible break. And we might put it with this one, right? This might fit in line with this one. So there's a possibility for upside. See this, this one here, this one, go up there, come here, and then they still go back up. So there is a possibility for upside. If that pattern is incorrect, and let's say we got that wrong, what if all of this is still part of the bigger running flat? When you have all of these a series of them, you can it can become a bigger one. Two things again, look for up move flag buy, look for consolidation, sell. Both of those would be valid trade setups. Because this is going to fall. The question is it falling now? That's the only question, right? And with the smaller patterns in here, the combination of so many different patterns, you can you can get both of it. DAX, this drop too, but this one definitely looks a little more upside. This looks like a big consolidation here for more upside. So I'll probably look for the upside. Okay, this didn't break out. It dropped, so now we're in this big consolidation here. We're still in this big one. Okay, if it's a more extended, if this here is a more extended run, I thought the running flat ended here, but sometimes this become one of its own. This go up there, give you another one, go up there, all of this becomes a one, two, three, come back here, good, possible. There, it's very complex in that piece. So if they're making a more complex pattern, we can look for biceps. Again, the same thing. It goes up, give you flag, buy. It make consolidates here, we sell. It depends on which of those two you get. Nifty, unless you get a flag, don't sell. Remember this one. Unless you get a flag, a consolidation, don't sell. And I mean you probably want a four-hour one, one out of one hour. right? You want this thing to stop and consolidate here, and then you put the sell. If they do that, you will not be in the sell. So you want it to stop, consolidate, look for the sell. If they reverse, you would look for biceps. Tesla, well, it's coming down back as we anticipate. We anticipate that this is going to come back down because this is a one, two, three. This should make a one to come back down here for a three and then we'll look for the buy setup, All right? So once it drop a little more, you can start looking for your buy setup. Amazon, remember I said, I'm going to leave this. This is what did. That was on the 25th. That was Monday, right? I said, I'm gonna leave these lines here for you guys. I'm gonna still lift, lead them. You can go back and watch, right? We're gonna leave these lines here and see whether the pattern is playing out the way we expect it to play out. All right? let's see if the voodoo works. Maybe it will work, maybe it's gonna change. If, if at any point in time, I think there is going to be a change in the structure because of new information, I will show you what I think, how it's gonna con continue itself based on the change. Right now, we don't have any change. They're just following the lines. These lines have a magnet with them. It draws the chart downwards. See, these are magnetic lines. So right now it's going. I don't see. I was what what I would look for here is whether we're making some kind of a flat here for upside, for one more up. Right now I don't see that. I don't see that pattern. As a matter of fact, there was a sell set up here. There was a perfect sell set up here if anybody wanted to sell. So if this drops a little more, make another one. Watch it to that level. You'll probably get one more sell. Right. Once it comes to this level, somewhere here, because we broke this top. I think we broke that top. We're watching this piece. Two pieces we will watch. We'll watch this one and we'll watch this one. Why those two? Because I'm not sure where to put this one as yet. Right? Do we put it with this? 
or do we put it with this? And it could go with both. Don't ask me why. We can explain that in details somewhere else, but not here. It could go with both. So this would either come and break this law, right? Which is this one is an equivalent of this piece, or it will come and break this law, which means we're putting this first one with this, and we, we've got this to match. We're taking, if we're taking the smaller one, one, two, three, or, or if we put these two together, then we have one, two, three, then this one is the one we're looking for, coming to this level and go back up. If we put the bigger one with this here, then we're looking for this up, which is this, and then we're coming to test this low. So we will see which is it. That is the only change in structure I can see right now that could happen. But let's see, it's going, right? SLR, downside, you should have been in the cell in this one. We call the cell in that, A to M. This one is gonna go back up. And the level I told you to watch is here, simply because this is gonna make a flat and then go down, right? That's what we're looking for. So you can still look for buy setups here. This is in the sideways. Watch this when it comes back to this level here. Well, I'm looking at this possibility as a one, two, three, and upside. That is the possibility I'm looking at right now. Reliance, the magic works here as well, right? Remember when it was here? And actually go back and watch this webinar when it came there and I told you it's gonna break the top, come back here and you're looking for cell setups. You should be in the cell already if you trade this, but you're looking for cell setups. Now from this point, there's one, one very small chance that they'll go back up. I don't think they'll go back up, but there's a very small chance. So what you want to do is have a small consol consolidation to confirm your cell setup, right? Any small consolidation will confirm the cell for you, right? Which is good. See, the magic is working. So if you were selling, where would you sell this? That's your first cell. This would have been your second cell. And then you can look for a third cell somewhere here. Bitcoin. So once this dropped, it come to this low. We're looking for this move up now, which is what we thought this one would do, but that didn't do it, right? So now we would look for this move up from somewhere here. We're still looking for this pattern. This is just a continuation of this move down. They can drop a little more. It can still drop more. It will be a continuation of this one. And then we will have to get this wave up, which is this one. And then we're gonna get this. And we would look for that. All right, let's see how this plays out. If you get cell set up, you can still take them as short term trade. Like I said, if you take this cell set up, you would take it to come back to this low. If, well, this is not a cell setup, but if it consolidates here, you could drop one more, just one more. You'll have to take profit up because we'll have to get the, once we get that confirmed as a running flat, we'll get the downside and then we'll see what happens when it goes down, how far it goes. XRP. Okay, this didn't go down, go up. It's still going down. So let's take this off and see if there is anything different here. Not that I can see. It's still going sideways. Take this off. We're still in this big sideways move, right? We're still in this big sideways move here. Kind of drop, make a correction, drop, make a bigger correction, drop, make a correction. I thought it ended here with a one, two, three. So this level. So I can see this coming back here. Now it's going to be a flat. We're not going higher than that. So if it makes a flat there, we're gonna drop again, right? We're still going to be in this consolidation, this whole big consolidation. And that means at some point we will get this. If you stay in this consolidation here for a long time, coming back to this low, then at some point you're gonna get this move up and then they drop. So anytime it drops to this level and we realize we're gonna get this this is this upside is a small trade you probably don't want that that is a very small trade it's gonna come back down and then we look for the then we would look for the buy after that upside we can take the upside after that because we don't know for sure that this does not break out and continue to go but at least this piece should give you enough to get to break even and then if it starts to drop we buy back from I will buy back from around 10. That's where I'll be very interested. That is the break of this low. So here's what here's what, what we're going to do. We were doing this every day. We're following this on a daily basis. If you want that daily analysis to know how it's changing, how these structures are changing, what is your advantage, what is the trade, what you would want to take, you can get these daily analysis. I'll probably make a very short video about that because at the end of this, most of you are not watching the video to the end of the crypto. 
but you can get all these daily analysis. Send me a Skype message. My Skype is in the description. I'll tell you how to get it. ETH. It's at the top. Let's see if we're going to get the downside. Okay, we can start looking for cells from here. This might be a little running flat, so we can start looking for cell setups. If it goes up, not going to bother you. But if the cell starts to come from that top, you want to get into it. All right, how far it's going to go, we'll figure that out when we go down on the daily. All right, if they're coming back from the top there, then they will, can come back all the way back to this low. Can this progress up? Yes, it can. I don't see the, 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 the structure whereby that should be a big upside because this one is really sharp to the downside here and this is the low. I'm looking at a possible running flat in the making. See, this there is the low. I think this is still part of this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if we come back all the way to here and then start to do this. That would not surprise me. So you might want to look for your cell setup if you're trading this back to that level. Let's see, go back to the one hour and give it a try. You're getting a cell setup right now. So you can give that a try. And the last one, LTC, this one came down as expected. This is nothing new. Let's see what happens here now, right? Because this is a one, two, three. This is a one, two, three, and they're all within this sideways. Go back up, make a one, two, three to this level and then drop, possible. Can this continue to go down? Also possible. Not, not, neither the upside or the downside is a big trade. It's just a very small trade. Now, where are we in the bigger picture of this one? Let's go to the daily. We're at this top. So where we expect that to go back, we didn't break out of this, see? We didn't break out of it. So with this going up here, I wouldn't be surprised if this comes back here too, and then start that big move up, leaving this as a big flat. So watch these two because of where they are at the top. Now, do we have a, a ready sell set up here? It could be, this could be a slow drop because, because this consolidating here, you know my view on that because of this consolidation here. If this was dropping with flags, it would be great. If you get a flag here, take it, but it could do this and still go back up and then come. Right? The, the possibility of that's a Lexus. You just get out of the trade, right? That's it, you get out of positive and break even and then you see where it goes. So you're looking for sell setups, basically. Let's see if we get it. So okay, guys, thank you. To all of you who watched to the end, thank you very much. If, you, if you're my trader or you like what I do, then you might want to watch it to the end, let it run in your thing, and then click like and click share and make a comment. If you don't like this, if this is not your thing, then don't waste your time because an hour and a half of your time is very valuable. So if you manage to reach to the end and you don't like it, don't watch anymore. You're wasting your time. But if you like the work I do, watch it, learn, share, and Maybe share it in any group you are that somebody else might like it there. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Have a great week ahead. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye. I'll see my traders in, in a couple of minutes once I close the recording.